WordPress media links, comments, tools. Adding multimedia files to your WordPress site is very easy. In fact, managing your multimedia files through WordPress options is actually very easy. You can sort and filter through different file formats or you can add new ones. You can also upload multiple files all at once as well as edit them all at once. You can filter through date uploads as in um, whichever date you uploaded you can filter as such and so on. You can press on the image and do further editing. With links this part of um, options available to you you will rarely use this but you may find a use for them. I hardly use them but what it allows you to do is group links together and perhaps you may want to group links together and showcase them on the sidebar perhaps perhaps in the footer section of your pages or anywhere else you see fit. You can categorize links as well as in group of links that you create. You can add new link groupings as in you can add individual links and give more meaning to them as well as provide um, web address perhaps you know your social media profiles or your friend's social media profiles and then you can actually create relationships you can read more about that but I have created structured data part one two and three whereby you can learn how to structure your website and learn what that is because link relationships from WordPress has not taken off kind of um, and it seems that 2015 and beyond um, internet and the World Wide Web is moving towards structured data particularly schema vocabulary but one uh, may find useful link relationships available to you as well with comments comments are part of what you do as in if you're blogging then ideally you want people to interact with your content and they do that through commenting having said that there are many many um, spammers out there who create software programs just so that they can spam WordPress comments. To deal with that, you can either manually moderate your comments, which will actually require a lot of time and effort on your part, or you can choose to utilize plugins and services such as Akismet. As you can see, this is my one of my websites, and basically Akismet takes care of most of the comment spam. And as you can see, it's doing a good job. Now imagine me manually trying to approve and moderate all those comments. Although that's the case, remember, this is a paid service, although affordable. With tools, tools are um, the one particular tool that you will always use and you should is not the bookmark per se, this is just a bookmarklet you can drop and um, have it on your browser so therefore when you browse around other WordPress sites or other websites you can quickly bookmark it. You can convert categories into tags but ideally you want to manually control them. You can export settings. Now this is an important part of WordPress uh, maintenance and you should definitely make a habit of exporting uh, what you have published so far in XML format. Download export file perhaps once a month and so on. But at the end of the day make a habit of it just in case in the future if something goes wrong with your WordPress site you can always recover it as far as what's been published as in posts, pages and so on. Right? Now to import it, 
you have to use a plugin or other services. This is the plugin that you need to install for you to be able to import those settings. Now that plugin is installed, I can now import the XML file I previously backed up. So once again, maintaining your content management system through WordPress is very, very easy and you will actually enjoy um, using WordPress because of its um, structure and user friendliness as well. Now, before we close, I'd like to show you where your multimedia files are uploaded. When you log into your web hosting manager and press on files manager and go to your home directory and then locate public underscore HTML and inside that we have WP hyphen content and if you browse into that you will see a folder called uploads and in there WordPress uploads and arranges things in year format and we are in 2015 and if we go to the month 9 and see that's where the images are uploaded into surely next month it will be a different folder when WordPress uploads multimedia files such as images it actually creates a thumbnail also different um, sizes as in medium size or the original size giving you the option to use either one. I thank you for learning with me and I'll talk with you in the next video session.